Hello and welcome to this short video on the field crop section of the Gower Show. I'm Richard Gordon and I oversee the field crops competition. Visitors to the previous Gower Show may well have seen an area set aside for commercially grown field crops. Typical of what you'd see there would be bales of hay, um, samples of silage, root crops such as swedes and fodder beet and cereals displayed as sheaves of corn. We are going to be uh, looking today at uh, the cereal crops and there's a uh, side of the competition that the general public doesn't get to see which is the judging that takes place on the farm. At this time of year uh, a judge will be visiting local farms and assessing the quality of the cereal crops before they're harvested. Uh, and this short film is about that. We are here on the southwest corner of the farm itself, on the farm of Mr. Albert Cowley. Uh, Albert has farmed here all his life uh, and is a regular and successful competitor uh, at the Gower Show. So, no better person to talk to us about growing cereals on this land than, than Albert. So, welcome, Albert. Thank you, Richard. Uh, w welcome Al Albert and here we are in um, a, a field of corn so could you tell us about the corn that's in front of us? Yes, this is a field of winter barley and it all started last September when the field, the field was ploughed and then preparation of seed bed and the last week of September sown to winter barley. Uh, it grows just quietly over the winter and then when spring starts then the growth starts to shoot off, the field is sprayed for weeds, uh, sprayed for disease once and then the crop grows on very quickly and here we are now at this stage where we are 10 to 14 days off harvesting the winter barley and you can distinguish winter barley by the, the hanging overhead and the horns on the grain and now when we come to combine now the combine comes in and thrashes the corn, separates the corn from the straw and the corn will be taken back to the farmyard and stored for the winter and uh, to feed the animals and the straw is baled up and that's also stored at the yard for bedding down the stock and cattle in the winter to keep them clean. So Albert, I, I'm, I'm looking at the barley and I'm seeing some of it is, is still looking greenish in 10 days that will have turned and become as golden as you yes, expect a cornfield yes. to be. So it happens that, that quickly. Sunshine ripens and brings the harvest on and then we are ready to start. And I notice also it's about a, a foot to 18 inches tall. Does it grow any taller? No, no, this is the stage it's arrived at now. This is full height now. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice crop with a nice crop of straw here as well. So the combine will come in and, and harvest uh, th this crop and in uh, days gone by it would have been harvested with men with a scythe uh, and, and a binder that's correct and, and what would have come out of that would have been a sheaf of corn and it's yes. a sheaf of corn that's displayed in the harvested crop section in the Gower show so what's involved in making a sheaf of corn well when i make a sheaf for the show i always like to go and pick a nice ripe patch of corn in the middle of the field and i'll cut it all cut off off, off the ground tied up into a lovely big sheaf which looks like what a binder has made and then you can st stand it up in the show and it, it just looks very nice. And uh, they do look very nice indeed and your uh, particular sheaves look very nice because I know you take a lot of time and attention in getting yours um, right. to perfection. Thank you Richard, thank you. This is, this is one of your fields of barley. Now you would have to decide which of the fields you'd want the judge to come along and see as part of yes. the competition. Uh, what makes for a good field of barley for a judge? Well as you are standing there now you're looking across the field yourself Richard, you can see all you can see is barley. So it's clean, there's no grass, there's no other varieties of grain growing there, it's purely all winter barley. And that's why I picked this field to show because it, it is my best field this year. And what, what about the, um, the the size of the crop, the, the amount of, of corn this year? Uh, does that feature also? Well, um, when when we once we've harvested, we'll have an an estimated idea of how much yield we've taken per acre. Right. So hopefully it'll be good. 
and I'll be happy. And with barley, uh, I'm looking at this one and I can see that there are two rows of grain. Is this the only type of barley you can get? No, th th there's many types of varieties of barley in the two row and there's also a six row barley. But I choose to grow two row barley because I think it has a better sample and a better bushel weight.